Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Fun with Lego Mindstorms EV3. Now guys, in this episode, I will be bringing back an old, an old classic. The, um, the main gauntlet, or motorized hand as some might call it. Um, this one is going to be kind of like your standard hand, but also with um, a couple little extra features that I added. I'm calling this one Blades. So I'm going to start giving these kind of like nicknames now because it's kind of cool. I kind of like giving them names. Now Blades might not sound that cool, but I do have a couple other names for some other projects I'll be making later on. But anyway, um, so I got, I want to talk to you about, yeah, I want to talk to you guys really quick about where this series has been. Alright guys, so a couple months ago I, kinda, I got kind of bored with this series. I kind of ran out of a couple ideas or that or I just kind of bore, got bored with it. I didn't really want to build that much. But now I'm bringing it back because you guys really do love this series. It's one of my most popular ones on my channel. And um, yeah, I figured you guys might appreciate me bringing this back. And yeah, so I'm going to be working on um, 10 new projects for this wave um, or like season 2 or whatever. But for wave 2, yeah, I'm going to be bringing back um, the good old motorized hand. I have a couple new designs I want to try out, some new techniques with, the, with building these. And yeah, I think you guys are really going to like it. So without further ado, let's move on to this actual project. Now for this one, you are going to need a one large motor, one touch sensor, and you could have another large motor if you wanted to. I'll just, I just had it there because, um, well, I'll explain it to you guys later. And you're obviously going to need your main brick. You're also going to need a couple of these like panel things right here, like of different sizes and varieties. And yeah, so you're going to be needing a bunch of those. And yeah. So, the main idea about this, it's just your standard claw, except like it's a lot dumbed down. I did adjust the, um, the um, button here, so like as opposed to pressing it with these fingers as you normally would, I wanted to try out like a different way of pressing it, maybe to be a bit easier. And it, it actually is a lot easier to press it. So you can kind of like grip whatever you want. And yeah, so that's pretty much the finger thing. You guys have seen this with other builds before. I don't really need to go too much into that, but it's basically pretty simple. Nothing too special. I think you guys are I think you guys are gonna like this build because in addition to that, I also included a couple of little um unique features to this build, which is why I call it blades. Now, for this one, the, I did include um a variety of um features such as this. So you guys can kinda like flip it over as it um as it basically like yeah, pretty much just that. Nothing too special, but it, it does form like a very cool blade, and it does come out to be a very cool feature. Now, it's pretty simple. You just have to have like this hinge piece right here, and then um, when it comes out, I kind of like, you might want to keep it in a locked position. Like, um, that's what I figured you, um, it'd be cool to have. So I do have a little locked position. You kind of just like push these down, and that like hooks over this piece, and there it's pretty much like, stuck there right now and there you have like your main blade for like I don't know jabbing people with um yeah violence um anyway I do have another little blade on here one of which I am particularly proud of that is because it does have like it I love this design it looks so cool honestly like um this design of a blade it's so bulky yet like cool looking and basically what makes it cool is that, well, um, you kind of need two hands for this, but I guess you guys can get the gist of it. Um, you basically just fold it out. So now I have built on my Mark II hand, I did build um, a knife on that, however it was not nearly as cool as this one. Like this one just kind of like folds out and such, like it, it basically just folds back out. So you guys know how it works. Um, it's, it's pretty cool, I honestly do like it. Um, I was planning on making it motorized, as you can see, um, but I ran across a couple problems. One, I do I only have one touch sensor. Two, I figured it'd be cool though to like kind of like be able to have it like on a manual setting, where basically like all you, you can like fold it out yourself. You can fold it out to wherever you want it to, and yeah, so like, and it does kind of like stay in place there if you wanted to, and. Um, yeah, so basically like you have the knife right here and you have your main blade. So you can kinda like fight people like that, like eh. I can't really give you guys that good of an example. But you guys you get what I mean. I really do like this project and I'm very happy to bring this series back. Um yeah, so let's get let's move on to my final review.
on the standard side. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is my quick little review of my um, LEGO EV3 Mindstorms project, Blades. Now, um, this motorized hand was very cool. I do have some more ideas, pr probably better ideas for the motorized hand. I definitely, I definitely will be building two more motorized hands within this next wave because I know that you guys love that. I got so much support on my last one. I hope to get more support on this one as well. Even though it's not my best project, it does look pretty cool. And I'm happy to be bringing this series back with it for another wave. I will be obviously building other projects besides these hands. I do have other ideas. But I really do like this concept, and yeah. So, be sure to leave me some feedback down below. If you have any questions, be f feel free to ask. And um, yeah, and also, like, in addition to the feedback, let me know if you guys think I should change anything. Let me know if you guys think, like, it could use some improvements. And also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It, would, it means so much to me. I recently got 50 subscribers, and I'm going to be posting a little bit, like, a little bit of a special video for you guys like I'm posting something early because of um, the 50 subscribers so yeah thank you guys so much for that and yeah thanks for watching and I'm happy to bring this series back